ऑफ <laughs> Why then does he refuse when someone else offers to him? Okay, now what is this chapter about? There is a has as per the name suggests the lost child. Okay, a child has jo ghum gaya hai. Now he went to a fair with his parents. Okay, वो कहाँ पे जा रहा है fair? What do you mean by fair? Fair किसे बोलते हैं बच्चा? Yes, ma'am. Fair, fair किसको बोलते हैं? या बराबर तो वो मेले में गया है अपने पेरेंट्स के साथ नाउ ही इज वेरी हैप्पी एंड एक्साइटेड व्हाई बिकॉज व्हेन वी गो टू द फेयर यू नो वी हैव जॉइंट विल वी हैव स्टॉल्स वी हैव डिफरेंट शॉप्स एंड एवरीथिंग व्हिच एक्साइट्स यू राइट सो इवन द चाइल्ड आउट हियर इज वेरी एक्साइटेड अ चाइल्ड गोस टू अ फेयर विद हिज पेरेंट्स एंड ही इज हैप्पी एंड एक्साइटेड व्हाई बिकॉज ही कैन सी द शॉप्स ही कैन सी स्वीट्स का शॉप टॉयज का शॉप एवरीवेयर डिस्प्लेड ओवर हियर द जॉइंट विल इज देयर यू हैव द शॉप्स वेयर यू नो बलून्स आर देयर एंड यू नीड टू शूट देम एंड जो भी वो बलून के पीछे है यू गेट यू गेट एज अ गिफ्ट सो ऑल ऑफ दीज स्टॉल्स एक्साइट्स दिस चाइल्ड बट His parents don't buy them for him, ठीक है? And we have this tendency, right? हमें अगर कोई चीज़ अच्छी लगी, तो हम क्या करते? We ask our parents to please buy us for them. But the parents over here refuses to give them, okay? कि वो जो बच्चा मांग रहा है, वो देने के लिए parents refuse करते हैं. Why then does he refuse when someone else offers? them to him okay but later on someone else is offering the same thing which that child has asked his parents to buy but then when someone else is offering why does this boy or why does this child refuse to take it that is something which we will learn in this chapter samjha yahan tak kya hua कि जो चीज वो अपने पेरेंट्स से मांग रहा था वही उसे कोई दूसरा लाके देता है और जब कोई दूसरा उसे वो ऑफर कर रहा है तब वो उसे क्यों रिफ्यूज करता है सो व्हाट इज दैट थिंग वी विल सी ठीक है इट वाज द फेस्टिवल ऑफ स्प्रिंग From the wintry shades of narrow lanes and alleys emerged a gale-clad humanity. Gale-clad humanity. Some walked, some rode on horses. Other, एक मना था. Yeah, other sat being carried in bamboo and bullock carts. One little boy ran between his father's legs, brimming over with life and laughter. Now, when you are doing this chapter, make sure that you have your notebooks and pens with you because this chapter may have a lot of meanings. Okay, so you need to write all of them. So it was the festival of spring. Spring का festival था. From the wintry shades of narrow lanes. Okay, what do you mean by narrow lanes? या पतली सी गली जिसे हम बोलते हैं वैसे एंड एलिस एमर्ज अ गेली क्लेड ह्यूमैनिटी एंड एलिस सो एलिस ओवर हियर आल्सो मींस द सेम नैरो पैसेजेस ठीक है तो गलिया में से क्या हो रहा था एमर्ज एमर्ज मींस व्हाट केम आउट हु वाज कमिंग आउट अ गेली क्लेड ह्यूमैनिटी गेली इज हैप्पीली और यू कैन से मेरीली क्लेड ह्यूमैनिटी क्लेड इज ड्रेस्ड अप ओके Clad is dressed up. Write all of the meanings. Ah, but there narrow lanes, patli galio me se, and alleys also over here means narrow passages. Narrow passages emerged, emerges coming out. So who was coming out from those narrow passages? A gaily clad humanity. Now gaily, I said happily, merrily. Clad over here means nicely dressed, properly dressed, and humanity over here means humans. ठीक है? वैसे पतली सी गलियाँ थी वासे कौन आ रहे थे? लोग आ रहे थे. लोग कैसे आ रहे थे? They were very well dressed. Okay, and they were happy. Gaily is happy or merrily. Some walked, some rode on horses. Others sat, being carried in bamboo and bullock carts. So, so this was the entire scenario. Some were coming out by walking. Some were on horses. Others sat. Others were sitting there. 
been carried in bamboo and bullock carts okay you have horse riding you have bullock carts when you have fair around you right so some of them were coming in bamboo and some of them were on bullock carts one little boy ran between his father's leg brimming over with life and laughter so one little boy the kid over here jiske bare mein hum padhne wale hai so what they, what he was doing he was running here and there between his father's legs abhi aise legs hote hai pata hai to chote bacche kaise ye dono gap ke beech mein se aa jate hai right they have this tendency kaise koi bhi do hote hai pairon ke beech mein se wo ghus jate hai so one little boy ran between his father's leg brimming over brimming over is what do you mean by brimming over Dreaming over, yeah, yeah. What are you saying? Dreaming to be full of something. ये देखो अभी ये ऐसे एक glass होता है, ठीक है? And यहाँ तक पानी जहाँ पे भरा होता है ना यहाँ तक. So we say that water is filled till the brim. So brim is to be full of something, ठीक है? कि पूरा जिससे भरा होता होता है. To be full of something is known as brimming. So that child over here, he was brimming over with life and laughter because he was very excited to see all of these draw, all of these drawings, maybe all of these, uh, you know, scenes of fair. You know, people coming out. Uh, they can what else he was seeing he was seeing some narrow lens people happily coming out well dressed so he was very happy brimming over is completely filled so he was completely filled with life and laughter that he was very happy and he was completely filled with happiness is it clear first paragraph samjha over here they have just described the scene that there are narrow lanes and out of which the narrow lanes people are coming out they are well dressed they are happy some are walking on the horses some are just sitting some are on the bullock carts and this little child jiske bare mein hum padhne wale hai he is brimming over with happiness he is full of life and laughter and he is running between us father's leg is it clear yahata yes ma'am okay now we will see the second page yeah come child come called his parents as he lagged behind fascinated by the toys in the shops that line in the way right even when we go to the fair we get fascinated what do you mean by fascinated fascinated is attracted you get attracted by all the shops you have all the different kinds of shop kabhi kabhi sweets ke shop hote hai sometimes you have shops which have various kinds of games uh, some other shops which just sold things which are some unique different things so you know this child he was very fascinated he was very attracted तो क्या हो रहा था उसके मॉम डैड आगे चल रहे थे एंड सिंस ही वाज लुकिंग एट ऑल ऑफ दीस स्टॉल्स ही वाज लैगिंग बिहाइंड कि ये बच्चा जो छोटा सा था वो पीछे रह जा रहा था सो व्हाट वाज अट्रैक्टिंग हिम ही वाज वेरी फैसिनेटेड बाय द टॉयज इन द शॉप्स दैट लाइन द वे के सारे शॉप्स ऐसे लाइंस में थे लाइन में थे एंड वो शॉप्स को देखते हुए जो टॉयज थे वहां पे वो देख के दिस चाइल्ड वाज वेरी फैसिनेटेड he hurried towards his parents his feet obedient to their call his eyes still lingering on the receding toys okay so since his parents were calling him so he was hurried away towards the parents ke wo bhag bhag ke wapas parents ke sath apne pace mein unke speed mein aa ja raha tha his feet obedient to their call ke jaise unke parents bula rahe the wo wahan pe ja raha tha he was going with his parents his eyes still lingering on the receding toy what do you mean by lingering lingering is last for a long time ke wo aage to chala ja raha tha but jo uski eyes thi wo wahi piche shops ke upar tiki padi thi last for a long time that he has his eyes on the shops which he has seen on the receding toys what do you mean by receding toys Re receding is the one which is left behind theek hai hum log ne yahan pe kya dekha ki shops line mein lagi thi and he is watching them he is fascinated towards them but when his parents is calling he is going there he is obedient or you know he is following their calls but his eyes are still left behind where on the toys which he have seen earlier is it clear yahan tak yes ma'am okay 
as he came to where they had stopped to wait for him he could not suppress the desire of his heart even though he well knew the old cold stare of refusal in their eyes theek hai and he came where jahan pe uske parents ruke hue the uske liye wo wahan pe aaya but he could not suppress the desire what do you mean by suppress suppress is to put an end to okay to put an end to is known as suppress the desire of his heart okay to us uski kya desire thi desire over here means wishes that he had this wish ke mai bhi ye toys mangu mere parents ke paas se but But he could not suppress that feeling. वो 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 बात जो है ना वो छुपा नहीं पा रहा था. Even though he well knew the old cold stare of refusal in their eyes. ठीक है. Cold मतलब यहाँ पे क्या हो जाता है? Coldness without any feelings or without any emotion. Then he knew this. What he's saying, see. Even though he well knew the old cold stare of refusal in their eyes. And उसे पता था कि अगर मैं कुछ मांगूँगा मेरे parents से, तो they would refuse it and that is why he wasn't able to ask them but he could not suppress ke wo jo uski feeling thi wo wo chupa nahi pa raha tha ya wo daba nahi pa raha tha wo cheez ko and late lately he asked i want that toy he pleaded theek hai and usne kya kiya he asked his parents that please i want that toy his father looked at him red eyed in his familiar tyrant's way theek hai so jaise usne koi cheez mangi his father was looking at him with a red eye red eyed is kind of angry face in his familiar tyrant way tyrant is a uh, you can say a cruel or rule way okay cruel way mein uske dad ne uske tarah dekha his mother melted by the free spirit of the day was tender and giving him her finger to hold said look child what is before you it was flowering mustard field pale like melting gold as it swept across miles and miles of even land so when he asked for something the dad he refused it right unhone aise gusse mein sirf ek look diya to wo bacha samajh gaya now what about the mother so his mother was melted by the free spirit okay melted over here means a cruel or oppressive way that her mother she was melted by the free spirit of the day ke wo jo day tha wo ekdam khush ekdam happy day tha right wo log ghumne nikle the so her mother she was melted she was tender and giving him the finger to hold okay ke uski mamma ne kya kiya wo itna dhyan nahi de rahi thi and she gave that child a finger to hold and said her said him that look child what is before you ke wo jo demand kiya usne dad ke paas wo to uska ignore ho gaya and later on his mother is asking that look child what is before you and it was the flowering mustard field flowering mustard matlab kya hota hai sarso ka to sarso ka khet tha pura uske samne pale like melting gold okay pale is you can say a little dull डल जिसे बोलते हैं ना लिटिल डल और अ ब्राइट येलो a little light yellow and it looked like a melting gold as it swept across miles and miles of even land aur wo kaise lag raha tha when you melt gold to so the color which you get a kind of little light yellow kind of that the entire road was looking why because that mustard field was spread everywhere so it was a flowering mustard field which was pale like melting gold a little dull or little light yellow gold as it swept across miles and miles of even land aur wo kya था सब जगह वो जो खेत था सरसों का दैट वाज स्प्रेड एवरी वे यहां तक समझा एनीवन विद एनी डाउट आर द मीनिंग्स क्लियर यस मैम ओके a group of dragon flies were bursting about on their gaudy purple wings intercepting the flight of a lone black bee or butterfly in search of sweetness from the flowers and you know right when you have uh, if you have seen ever that agar aapne koi flower wala field dekha hoga so you have seen that insects are roaming on that flower why because they suck the nectar of it right तो यहाँ पे भी वैसे ही हो रहा था ये जो मस्टर्ड फील थी उसके ऊपर देव ग्रुप ऑफ ड्रैगन फ्लाइज देखा है ड्रैगन फ्लाइज सब लोग ने इंसेक्ट कैसा होता है यस यस मैम लंबा सा होता है 
या एंड इट हैज ट्रांसपेरेंट विंग्स तो वो ग्रुप ऑफ ड्रैगन फ्लाइज कहाँ पे बस्लिंग वट डू मीन बाई बस्लिंग बस्लिंग मीन्स मूविंग हियर एंड देयर सो द ग्रुप ऑफ ड्रैगन फ्लाइज वो क्या कर रहे थे वो फ्लावर पे मस्टर्ड फ्लावर पे यहाँ वहाँ मूव कर रहे थे अबाउट ऑन देर गॉडी पर्पल विंग्स ना वट डू मीन बाई गॉडी गॉडी इज टू ब्राइट वी से ना सच काइंड ऑफ गॉडी ड्रेसेस शी हैड वोर गॉडी इज वेरी ब्राइट तो उनके ब्राइट पर्पल विंग्स दे हैव अ लिटिल काइंड ऑफ ट्रांसपेरेंट एंड अ टेंट ऑफ पर्पल इन इट सो दैट इज वाई दे हैव एक्सप्रेस्ड पर्पल विंग्स ओवर हियर इंटरसेप्टिंग द फ्लाइट ऑफ अ लोन ब्लैक बी और बटरफ्लाई इंटरसेप्टिंग मतलब क्या ऑब्स्ट्रक्टिंग के वो किसका ऑब्स्ट्रक्टिंग द फ्लाइट ऑफ अ लोन ब्लैक बी मतलब क्या कि जो ब्लैक बी या बटरफ्लाई है इवन दे आर ट्राइंग टू सक द नेक्टर ऑफ दैट फ्लावर बट ये जो ड्रैगन फ्लाई है वो उसे इंटरसेप्ट कर रहे हैं इंटरसेप्ट मतलब क्या उसे ऑब्स्ट्रक्ट कर रहे हैं ऑब्स्ट्रक्ट द फ्लाइट फ्लाइट मतलब क्या ये जो ब्लैक बी या जो बटरफ्लाई है जो वो उड़ रहे हैं वो फ्लावर पे ऊपर इन सर्च ऑफ स्वीटनेस फ्रॉम द फ्लावर दैट इवन दे आर ट्राइंग टू यू नो सर कनेक्टर ऑफ दैट फ्लावर बट दिस ड्रैगन फ्लाई दे आर इंटरप्टिंग दैम and they are interrupting the black sea or butterfly so samjhe ye teeno line ka meaning yeah did you guys understood what they are trying to say that even over here the black bee or butterfly they are trying to suck the nectar of the flower but the dragon fly what they are doing they are intercepting them So that is why they have written over here intercepting the flight of a lone black bee or butterfly in search of sweetness from the flower the child followed them in the air with his gaze till one of them would still its wing and rest and he would try to catch it so child he was seeing all of these things right so he was following them in the air with his gaze okay ke wo kya kar raha tha jahan tak use dikh raha tha ye dragon fly ye butterfly wo tab tak unhe follow kar raha tha with what intention that till one of them would still its wing and rest कि ये ऐसा होता है ना ये लोग उड़ते जा रहे हैं बटरफ्लाई एंड यू आर फॉलोइंग देम टिल व्हाट टाइम यू आर फॉलोइंग टिल दे विल रेस्ट एंड वंस दे रेस्ट दैट चाइल्ड वुड एबल टू कैच इट सो दैट इज व्हाई ही वाज फॉलोइंग दैट बटरफ्लाई या जो ब्लैक बी थी उसे वो चाइल्ड फॉलो करते करते आगे निकल रहा था बट इट वुड गो फ्लटरिंग फ्लैपिंग अप इनटू द एयर व्हेन ही हैड ऑलमोस्ट कॉट इट इन हिज हैंड व्हेन इट हैपेंस राइट दैट इफ यू सी ठीक है चलो एक प्लेस पे बटरफ्लाई बैठ भी गया एंड द टाइम व्हेन यू गो टू कैच हिम और यू जस्ट गो टू पिक देम अप दे फ्लाई तो वैसे ही इसके साथ भी हो रहा था एंड व्हेन ही वाज ऑलमोस्ट अबाउट टू कैच दैट फ्लाई बटरफ्लाई दैट बटरफ्लाई यूज्ड टू फ्लाई अवे and then his mother gave a cautionary call cautionary is you know she is uh, cautioning you matlab kya ke uh, ye kar rahe aapko bata rahe hai ki dhyan rakho waisa ke come child come come on to the footpath but why because he was wo butterfly ko wo follow kar raha tha and he was moving on to the road side so that is why her mother calls him and she is telling that come towards the footpath don't run on the road side Is it clear, Yahata? Anyone with any doubt? No, ma. Yeah, he ran towards his parents gaily and walked abreast of them for a while. Been half a hour, soon left behind, attracted by the little insects and worms along the footpath that were teeming out from the hiding places to enjoy the sunshine. Up, jab wo footpath pe aa gaya, so you know you have these things that animals are inside the ground, so they come outside. So yaha pe bhi wahi ho raha tha. Now when he was walking on the footpath, he ran towards his parents. parents gaily what do you mean by gaily gaily is listening to them and walked abreast of them for a while and when he was walking there he could see that there was soil and uske andar kya tha there were insects abreast is side by side to ab wo aa gaya tha apne parents ke level pe unke sath wo walk kar raha tha and then he could see that there were this animals or insects you can say insects and worms who were inside the soil and they were coming out to seek sunlight so that was something which was in 
interesting that child he was attracted towards it see attracted by the little insects and worms along the footpath that were teeming out teeming out means coming out okay they were coming out from the hiding places ke unhone kaise aise you might have seen with i draw and i'll show you aise wo log ye sand hota hai to yahan pe aise banate hain mitti jaisa and then they come out over here outside so that was something which was there so that is why a minute yeah so that was attracting the child over here he was getting attracted to see how insects and worms are coming out to enjoy the sunshine to wapis wo piche reh ja raha tha and mom dad kya kar rahe the aage chale ja rahe the come child come his parents called from the shade of a grove where they had seated themselves on the edge of a well he ran towards them and mom dad kaha pe ja ke baith gaye his parents called from the shade of a grove what do you mean by grove grove is group of trees ke waha pe group of trees tha and uske niche parents bed gaye to have some rest to get the shadow and from there they were calling that child he ran towards them and then that child returned to his parents a shower of young flowers fell upon the child as he entered the grove and forgetting his parents he began to gather the raining petals in his plants ab ye grove maine bola yahan pe group of trees tha to jaise hi wo wahan pe gaya to kya hua you know wind started flowing and flowers flowers ka shower ho gaya matlab kya jaise hi wo gaya to phoolo ki puri aisi bauchha type ho gayi so he again forgot his parents and what he, he started doing he started gathering all the petals in his hand ke jo jo flowers niche gire the usne pura usko collect karna start kar diya but lo he heard the cooing of doves and ran towards his parents shouting the dove the dove the raining petals petals drop from his forgotten hands and jaise wo wo re petals utha raha tha he could hear the sound of dove dove over here is again a bird a white color bird to unki awaaz usne suni bird ki so he started telling or shouting his parents that see dove over here dove over here and as he was pointing towards the dove jo sare petals usne collect kiye the apne haath mein wo sare kya ho gaye gir gaye because he didn't realize ke mere haath mein petals एंड जैसे वो जो डफ डफ करने गया तो पूरे पेटल्स क्या हो गए नीचे गिर गए come child come they called to the child who had now gone running in wild capers round the banyan tree and gathering him up they looked the narrow winding footpath which led to the fair through the mustard fields now what this child was doing wo daf daf se wo ye ho gaya excited ho gaya and now he was running in wild capers what do you mean by running in wild capers running in wild capers means he was running happily with excitement abhi usko kya cheez excite kar rahi thi there was this banyan tree which was very huge and that is why he was roaming around them and that was something which was exciting him and gathering him up they look to the narrow tab ye jo field tha pura mustard field uske aage se rasta kya ja raha tha fair ka rasta ja raha tha so they were looking towards that footpath which led through the mustard fields to the fair is it clear yaha tak yes ma'am okay As they neared the village, the child could see many other footpaths which were full of throngs converging to the whirlpool of the fair, and felt at once repelled and fascinated by the confusion of the world he was entering. Okay, आप देखो. As they neared the village, the child could see many other footpaths which was full of throngs. Throngs is huge crowd. That as he as he returned to his parents, he could see many footpaths. Yeah, happy a bit. I'll show you. Yeah, he could see many footpaths converging to the whirlpool. Now, what do you mean by whirlpool? Ye dekho, मतलब समझो यहाँ पे fair है. So everywhere you had roads which connected to this fair. वैसे everywhere you had footpaths which were connected. you to the main fair ke yahan pe fair hai so every road connected you towards this fair so he is like footpaths full of throngs throngs means huge crowds since everywhere people were connecting to this uh, to this fair it was it was full
fully crowded converging to the wall pool of the fair to wo bachcha ko kya lag raha hai ki ye jo fair hai beech mein it is wall pool wall means wall pool means it is a center and everyone is converging converging is gathering ke sab yahan se kaha pe gather ho rahe fair mein gather ho rahe so that is why he is thinking that it is like a wall pool of the fair and at once felt repealed okay what do you mean by repealed and fascinated by the confusion of the world he was entering at once he got a little scared thoda dal gaya when he when he looked the crowd but then lately he was fascinated but then he was very happy by the confusion of the world he was entering ke usko itna crowd usne kabhi dekha nahi tha so that is why he was a little bit confused a sweet meat seller hawked gulab jamun rasgulla barfi jalebi at the corner of the entrance and a crowd pressed round his counter at the fo- at the foot of an architecture of many colored sweets decorated with leaves of silver and gold so as they started entering the stall the very first shop which he see was of sweet meat sweet meat matlab kya hota hai sweet food ka stall usne sabse pehle dekha and who was the seller who was hawking hawking means he was shouting that come you can take gulab jamun rasgulla barfi and jalebi and at, it was at the corner of the entrance ke jaise hi aap enter karte ho fair mein waha pe corner pe ye sweet ki shop thi and there was a crowd which was pressed around this counter theek hai ke wo uncle jo the sweet wale wo beech mein the and pure aaju baaju people were surrounded to this counter and at the foot of an architecture of many Color sweets, okay. There were many color sweets. Any sweet you see, मतलब वहाँ पे you can find it. So that is why he has written an architecture of many color sweets decorated with leaves. Leaves के ऊपर थे and of silver and gold. Silver and gold मतलब क्या? You have this layer, right? जैसे काजू कतरी में आपको ऊपर यू गेट दैट सिल्वर वाला लाइनिंग वैसे तो वहाँ पे ऐसे बहुत सारे sweets थे जिसके ऊपर coating किसकी थी silver and gold की. The child stared open-eyed, and his mouth watered for the barfi that was his favorite sweet. Now, this child he was continuously staring at that shop. Okay, जो barfi जो sweet वाला shop था, वो वो देख के he see his mouth watered के उसको बहुत भूख लग गई. किसकी भूख लग गई? Barfi की. Why? Because barfi was one of his favorite sweet. I want that barfi. He slowly murmured. ठीक है उसने धीरे से ही ऐसे बोला that I want this barfi. But he half knew as he begged that his plea would not be heeded. Plea is उसकी जो ये request है would not be heeded. Heeded मतलब क्या? कोई सुनेगा नहीं. तो उसे थोड़ा थोड़ा तो पता था कि अगर मैं मांगू भी कि मुझे ये बर्फी चाहिए तो ये मेरी विश जो है वो पूरी होगी नहीं इसे कोई सुनेगा नहीं ही डेड इज नो वन वुड पे अटेंशन टूवर्ड्स इट बिकॉज इज पेरेंट्स वुड से ही वॉज ग्रीडी सो विदाउट वेटिंग फॉर एन आंसर ही मूवड आउट ठीक है बाय उसको ऐसे लग रहा था कि अगर मैंने यहाँ पे कुछ पेरेंट्स से मांगा तो पेरेंट्स को क्या लगेगा दैट आई एम वेरी ग्रीडी आई एम बीइंग वेरी सेल्फिश ओवर हियर दैट सीइंग ऑल द स्वीट्स आई स्टार्टेड आस्किंग देम so he you know he knew that they would they wouldn't give any response so that is why without waiting for an answer he moved on ke wo aage bada so first stop we have seen was of sweet meat okay ek sweet ka shop tha now coming towards the next which was a flower seller hawked okay the second shop which he sees was of flower seller a garland of gulmohar a garlands of gulmohar the child seems irrest- irresistibly drawn irresistibly matlab kya he was continuously watching them and he could not resist himself matlab wo khud ko rok nahi pa raha tha he drew his attention towards that flower seller he went towards the basket where the flowers lay hip and half मोमर ओके फ्लावर्स ले हिप मतलब क्या ये देखो आल शो यू हैव ऐसा ये होता है ना उनकी पेटी जिसमें ऐसे फ्लावर्स होते हैं एंड फ्लावर्स क्या ऐसे ऐसे ऊपर रखे होते हैं तो दिस इज कॉल्ड एज हिप्ड ओके दिस इज नोन एज हिप्ड ठीक है सो फ्लावर्स वर लेड हिप एंड ही हाफ 
मोर मोर के उसने वापस धीरे से बोला आई वॉन्ट दैट गार लैंड नाव ही वॉन्टेड दैट गार लैंड but he well knew his parents would refuse to buy him those flowers because they would say that they were cheap so without waiting for an answer he moved out theek hai he more more dum dheere se usne kya bola that i want that garland but he knew that my parents would refuse to buy why because they would say that this garland is very cheap and the halke quality ka hai and ise rakhenge to fatak se sukh jayega so without waiting for an answer usse pata tha ki manai karenge so what did he did so without waiting for an answer he moved on ke wo aage badhne laga yahan tak samjha sabko anyone with any doubt regarding any word or something both of you yes ma'am any doubt no mm. a man stood holding a pole with yellow red green and purple balloons flying from it the third shop kaun sa aata hai ek balloon wala aata hai jahan pe he could see there was a man jisne सारे कलर के बलून्स येलो रेड ग्रीन पर्पल बलून्स लेके वो खड़े थे द चाइल्ड वॉज सिंपली कैरेड अवे बाय द रेनबो ग्लोरी ऑफ द सिल्कन कलर्स एंड ही वॉज फिल्ड विद एन ओवरवेलमिंग डिजायर टू प्रोसेस दैम ऑल ठीक है एंड वो बहुत एक्साइट हो गया वो सारे बलून्स को देख के उसके कलर्स ऐसे थे जैसे उसे लग रहे थे दैट इट इज लाइक अ रेनबो ग्लोरी एंड ही वॉज वेरी ओवर वेम वॉट डू मीन बाय ओवर वेम ही वॉज वेरी Uh, you know it, he had a very great desire desire is wish he had a very great wish to possess them all and usko kya chahiye tha ki main ye sare balloons khareed lu but he well knew his parents would never buy him the balloons because they would say he was too old to play with such toys so he walked on further but he knew ki agar main parents ko demand karunga for this balloon so what they would they, what they would say they would say that i am not that old and i am not too old to play with such toys and that is why he walked on further ठीक है नाउ द नेक्स्ट शॉप व्हिच ही एंटर्स इज अ स्नेक चार्मर सपेरा जिसे हम बोलते हैं उसमें जिसे हम बोलते हैं उसमें वो आता है अ स्नेक चार्मर स्टूड प्लेइंग अ फ्लूट टू अ स्नेक व्हिच कॉल्ड इटसेल्फ इन अ बास्केट इट्स हेड रेजिंग इन अ ग्रेसफुल बेंड लाइक द नेक ऑफ अ स्वैन हैव यू ऑल सीन अ स्नेक चार्मर सपेरा देखा है कभी Have you ever seen a snake charmer? Yes, ma'am. Have you ever seen a snake charmer? No, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. वो बीन बजाता है और सांप उड़ता है. मैंने गांव में देखा है मैं. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, Daksh, you haven't seen na, but I. If I could see the photo, I'll show you. you to a snake which coiled itself in a basket ke wo basket mein kaise snake coiled hota hai right coiled is circled hota hai and it raises its head in a graceful bend like the neck of a swan and jaise wo bahar aata hai so you know uski head raised hoti hai to wo bacche ko kya lagta hai it is bend like the neck of a swan ke ek swan ka neck kaise bend hota hai waise wo snake bhi bahar aa raha hai while the music stole into it's invisible ear like the gentle rippling of an invisible waterfall and usse kya lagta hai ye jo music hai wo snake ke kano mein kaise ja raha hai now you cannot see snake ears right they are not visible so that is why they have written over here invisible ears and usse aise lag raha hai like the gentle rippling of an invisible waterfall ke waterfall ki aawaz kaisi aati hai jab waterfall girta hai to kaise rippling rippling is the circle like ear which it creates in the same way the snake is also coming out after listening to the sound which the snake charmer makes the child went towards the snake charmer okay wo waha pe jata hai but knowing his parents had forbidden him to hear such coarse music as the snake charmer played he proceed further but usse yaad aata hai ki parents ne kya kiya hai usse bola hai ki aisi aawaze 
coarse music courses such kind of unpleasant music you shouldn't hear and that is why he again proceeds further theek hai there was a round about in full swing okay round about pata hai yahan pe picture nahi di hai jo aapke paas aise giant will jaisa hota hai but giant will is in स्ट्रेट पैटर्न राउंड अबाउट कैसे ऐसे हॉरिजेंटल वे में होता है सो नाउ देर वॉज अ राउंड अबाउट इन फुल स्विंग मैन वुमेन एंड चिल्ड्रेन कैरेड अवे इन अ वर्लिंग मोशन वर्लिंग क्योंकि वो एज हॉरिजेंटल वे में होता है ऐसे सो वर्लिंग मोशन यहाँ पे बताया है श्रीक एंड क्राइड विद डीजी लाफ्टर ना वट डू मीन बाई श्रीक श्रीक टू वीयर मीन्स दैट दे व शाउटिंग वहां पे जब आप होते हो तो यू कीप शाउटिंग राइट तो दे व शाउटिंग एंड क्राइंग विद डिजी लाफ्टर डिजी क्यू बिकॉज आप वो गोल गोल ऐसे घूमता है ना तो आपका ऐसे चक्कर जैसे आते हैं दैट इज वाई डिजीनेस यहाँ पे बता है सो विथ डिजी लाफ्टर बट एट द सेम टाइम यू आर वेरी हैप्पी यू आर एंजॉइंग इट सो दैट इज वाई दे हैव यूज द वर्ड डिजी लाफ्टर The child watched them intently, and then he made a bold request. ठीक है कि अब तक तो उसे पता था कि मुझे मना कर देंगे. That is why वो मन में ही request करके उसे छोड़ दे रहा था. But ये चीज जो round about था उसे देख के he couldn't resist. Okay, वो अब खुद को रोक नहीं पाया. And he made a request to his parents that I want to go on the round about. Please, father and mother. ठीक है. And वो अपनी request रोक नहीं पाता. And फिर फाइनली वो पेरेंट्स को बोलता है दैट प्लीज आई वांट टू गो ऑन द राउंड अबाउट देयर वाज नो रिप्लाइड he turned to look at his parents but koi reply nahi aaya to he turned to look back at his parents they were not there ahead of him he turned to look on either side they were not there he looked behind there were no sign of them theek hai to jaise usne piche dekha to look for his parents they were not there fir usne aaju baaju mein dekha side mein dekha on the either side also he couldn't find his parents they were not there and fir usne piche आगे सब जगह देखा एंड ही कुडेंट फाइंड हिज पेरेंट्स इज इट क्लियर यहाँ तक 